This is Paint Live TV. I'm Chrissy Idaho Painter. In this video, I've done multiple videos in the past on aqua coat and just doing it over bare wood. I'm going to show you a video on us doing aqua coat over our pre primed oak cabinets in the challenges and what it looks like doing that method, painting or actually applying aqua coat over white or pre primed cabinets. So, if you want to see more videos on applying aqua coat and getting rid of oak grain, stay tuned for this video. All right, so now we're going to get on to the laundry room where we've got already coated cabinet doors and I'm gonna show you the difference. So these are white and our aqua coat is white. So here you can see the wood grain. You can see everywhere you've gone with the, the aqua coat. Now we're dealing with another situation. These are oak cabinets, very similar to the ones that we got, but we're gonna start applying our aqua coat and it's just gonna take a little bit more time and a little bit more inspection and really looking and being careful where you go and then making sure you scrape off enough of the aqua coat so you don't have to do too much sanding so here we go we got me and michael are working on these so um let's get the work michael um we're gonna be applying this by the time we get done applying all these doors uh we'll we'll be able to start sanding our other doors over here so Skid. I'm going to be using probably because I got larger doors here. I'm going to be using some larger tools to apply it. Who's my line? You can see here to the camera. It's going to be really difficult to see what we're applying. Once again, I'm going to be really careful not to get anything in these in the edges of the floating panel. These don't seem to be as grainy as the other ones but I'm only working on one so far the rounded edges yeah the rounded edges definitely have um, grain to them but you are definitely if you've got painted cabinets if they're painted another color than the white that they aren't white, it's gonna help you also. If you pre-prime them, pre-prime them uh, like a gray color, that will really help you. So there's some people that like to prime first. You can go ahead and prime first and you can use, you know, um, after, before and after, you can use water-based primers or oil-based primers if you want. Almost got this door done here. We're gonna go check out what Michael's doing over here. We're working on this job together. The end grain is where the, the grain is really heavy, really deep. All right, so front side of this one's done we'll be doing the back side I'm gonna set this one on a rack check out what Michael's doing over here all right so we're just cruising right along working on these panels so the, this job is a little bit differently so we've got these previously coated cabinets that the these panels floating panels are actually going to be caulked the customer was adamant that they get caulked um, we're still going to try to keep the aqua coat out of the cracks because we're going to uh, use caulking to fill those panels. So some people, you know, caulk the panels, some people don't. So it's uh, kind of a personal preference and there is, you know, a school of thought. Some people are, believe that you should not caulk them at all, uh, but there are a lot of painters out there that do and have success doing it. So. If you are working long periods of time, you're using this stuff, it's good to keep your lid on your aqua coat so it doesn't dry out on the top. If you start to get your know, dried stuff mixed with the wet stuff, um, it starts to get a little bit messy. <laughs> These rounded edges take just a little bit more time, a little bit more work. because You're trying to fill in grain on these routed edges so you just got to work it over the edge 
Got the front side of this door done now. If I take a look at it in the light like this, I can see in the right light where I've gone and haven't gone because the aqua coat's wet and the door is flat white. So I am, uh, today I'm working with Michael, Michael Slanda. What is your company's name, Michael? Uh, it's Michael Slanda Painting. And you've um, got a business where at? Here in, uh, we're out of Boise, Idaho. Boise, Idaho, right here where I live. And how many times have you used Aqua Coat, Michael? This is my second time. Second time? Know. Yeah. So, cool. Um, the first time I, I uh, completed your cabinet course, and that was um, in 2019. And then I took uh, that and went and sold the job, and it came out great. And then from that job, I was referred to these people to do the same cool. for their cabinets. Awesome. So you've done a handful of cabinets now? Yes, and it's just it seems like more and more... Um, when you you find out that you're, somebody's done them and they've seen people in the cabinets last for you know 18 year, months and still look good right. I'm starting to finally get the referrals and yeah. you know everything it's good i like to keep my hands clean tools clean keep wiping them off every couple doors so it's a so Michael's got, he's got a rag with them and stuff. He's using to wipe his tools down. You don't want the aqua coat to dry on your n knives because it will end up ca causing rough edges on your knife, which it won't s scrape off smoothly. So, so I'm going to show you, this is a smaller door. I'm going to show you, you get questions, people asking, you know, how you work in tight spaces. So you know, tight spaces just require smaller tools. So you got large tools, small tools, We've got large um, plastic knives. But if you're working in small spaces, just use a small tool. And I like to, you know, not have a whole lot of aqua coat with me at the time. But if, I mean, if I was working small, here's a small knife I can work smaller areas so you um you primed these um cabinets first right michael yes i um i was always afraid of tan and bleed so i've used cover stain and then um and i've 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 just had good luck i primed these about a week ago so you like cover stain primer i do for the stain blocking and the sandability um but you know, it is an oil, so realizing now that there is other ways to go about um, cutting out that step and yeah. and not bringing the fumes into a client's home, because now that everybody works at home, the more comfortable you can make it, I feel the better. If I was priming these themselves, if I was doing the, the painting of them, and not just the aqua coating part. I like using Renner 851, which is a 2K top coat, and Renner 643 is a 2K primer that is uh, will block pan in. So it's a 2K water-based primer. So I like really using water-based products, and um, Renner's 2K 851 and 643 is an industrial PU that's absolutely amazing. What kind of pump did you use when you're spraying it on? Uh, I use a Titan 440. Uh, probably this one's got to be from the late 90s. Ah, it's one of my old old, my school. old pump is my oil pump. Um, it was given to me by a painter when he retired. So uh, he says if, if I clean it right, it will work until I'm done painting. So I took his words to heart and clean it real good every time. So cool. And um, 
Yeah, I used your uh, 25 foot 316 green hose and a 310 purple tip. Um, and cool, that's how we did. So we're just cruising right along here and I just, you know, giving Michael some pointers. I, I don't like to work with a lot of product. I like to just work with, you know, a little product at a time and just be really neat and clean. I know I get a lot of people um, on my, you know, social media and stuff, you know, how do you keep your shoes so clean? How do you keep your pants so clean? And, you know, to me, image um, is really important, looking professional acting professional so i'm always trying to i slow down a little bit don't work as fast keep my tools clean i'm not using a lot of product i'm just slowing down a little bit and trying to be really neat and clean and i kind of like you know if the customer walks in while you're doing this you know if you look neat and clean and tidy they're going to be pretty impressed and then all it is um you understand this, Michael, it just wins you more jobs, just like yes. you're doing good work, that you're you're getting a lot of work because of the quality of work you're doing. You know, Michael's, um, the customer said that they're just adamant these are, are gonna be caulked, so the panels are gonna be caulked, it's what they want, desire. So it's it's really ideal not to get um, Aquacoat in the floating panels and the gaps it's um, better to use caulking because the caulking is more flexible. Do get questions, people asking, you know, what primer can I prime with um, over the top of Aquacoat? So, you know, once the Aquacoat dries, you can um, use whatever primer you're familiar with. If you're using oil-based products, water-based products, or lacquer-based products, you're good to uh, prime with whatever you want. I just highly recommend to me nowadays technology and water-based coatings um, industrial PUs uh, and this particularly Renner is one of the ones that I use um, there's others that make some similar products like CIC and um, there's quite a handful of them out there that make good water-based one and two KPUs that just make it so you're not spraying um, flammable products for one thing in, in a customer's house, nor are you smelling their house up because even when they're catalyzed, the, the odor is very low odor on the products. You have it. Um, that's not our finished product, but our finished product is going to be a laundry room. I did talk about um, doing two jobs simultaneous, a laundry room and a vanity. This is a vanity done with aqua coat at the same time that we did the laundry room. This was done not pre-primed. It was bare wood, got it all done. That's what using aqua coat will look like over oak, but our um, laundry room, it's gonna be shipped off, it's gonna be finished and complete. Uh, this video was about some of the challenges of using aqua coat over a pre-prime surface. It's already white, it's really difficult to see where you've applied your aqua coat, uh, where to sand your aqua coat when it dries. Uh, it went over, I think our pre-prime surface was a Kills oil-based primer, and Michael chose to do um, oil-based prime it you know, beforehand, and I we went over and discussed some of the challenges and issues. I think he probably wouldn't do that next time he would apply the aqua coat over the um, his oak product before he did any type of priming. If you got any tips or trick tips or tricks applying aqua coat, just leave it down in the co comment section below. We would love to hear what you have to say. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. It's free, simple, easy to do. Simple way to help support our channel and let us know you're watching Paint Life TV. See you next time right here on Pay Life TV, out.